Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing some World of Dota, which is of course made by Panda Life. And specifically we're playing as Undying, because I ran them. But honestly, the Undying build is pretty cute, and I thought you might enjoy it. So let's get right into the game. Hello friends, we got ourselves Undying. We'll grab this and this. And then we'll have to decide what we play today. So this is Decay, right? Tombstone cannot be destroyed. We get two Tombstone Chargers. Soul Rip always procs as if it were the maximum number of targets. And Tombstone does not summon zombies. Instead, deals magic damage to nearby enemies every second. And with that, we just kind of like Flesh Golem get mana region. We Decay also steals Int. That seems kind of fun. Go for like mana region. Go for like a casting build here. Each attack restores health. Summons invulnerable zombies around the hero. And then we can uh, get an attack speed aura. This seems really bad. All right. Uh, is there anything? Yeah, the zombies attack with my attack damage. But it still doesn't seem good enough. And then over here, remove soul rip. Every second hero deals physical damage to all enemies around him with a percentage of strength. Flesh golem becomes a passive ability. Decay cooldown reduction. And Tombstone cooldown reduction, Decay procs in a radius around the Tombstone. Tombstone slows enemies down. Which one do you guys like? Uh, I'm not... Oh wait, does this not deal damage to creeps? It does deal damage to creeps, but it doesn't do any damage right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't play a lot of Undying. I think we are all aware of that, right? Int is fun? Alright, let's go for Int then. So this increases the Decay damage. We might want to invest an early point into mana region. Just so we've got that. Because then we can farm a little bit better. And we're going to want later points into mana region anyway. So it doesn't really come at a cost. I also think I wanted to try out this spirit vessel. So I think I'm going to go for a spirit vessel. I heard that it's very good. And it just seems like a fun item to give a go on uh, Undying. It's somewhat thematic, I don't know. I know it's not really an item that Undying buys, but I always kind of associate Undying with Spirit Vessel for some reason. It's probably because they're both like associated with life and death. It's a really interesting thing about Dota, right? Dota has a bunch of her heroes that are about death, like death-themed, like Undying, Necrophos, Pugna. I guess Pugna is like more poison-ish, I don't know. Uh, but oftentimes in Dota, the death theming comes along with healing. Which is interesting. I just think that's kind of a, a cute little thing about Dota. Murta, yeah, Murta, she's got spell I steal. Right? Come over here. <clears throat> Wraith King. Wraith King has uh, healing. Right? Like it's, it's just like a thing with Dota heroes. They oftentimes, like, the, the ones that have, that are associated with death, tend to also be associated with healing a little bit. Which is not necessarily the most unique thing. The idea of death being a healing process is something that's actually fairly common in a variety of cultures. But I just think it's interesting that it's also in Dota. Alright. Something over here, right? I slapped somebody. Hello. Tombstone. Clap. It's not enough, right? But maybe. Nice. Well, that's really good. Got a kill. I was a bit worried that we might be chasing for too long, but the spirit vessel actually did a lot of work there, didn't it? Really felt like that made a huge difference. Alright, level this up. Now Soul Rip always procs as if it were the maximum number of targets. Which is actually quite strong. Like, look at that. Wait, that did nothing. <laughs> Never mind. That's not true. 135 is just more impressive on heroes than it is on creeps, right? Is Abaddon death related? A little bit-ish. Kind of. I'm not entirely sure what Abaddon is death related. Death in Dota is generally this kind of like greenish color. Like like Necrophos and Undying, right? Sort of green. Uh, Abaddon is more blue, which is usually more frost related. But then again, he does have like a little bit of, of theming there. I'm not sure. You could argue. You could argue about that, I feel. 
right? It's one of those things where it's not really a strict rule either. It's just uh, something that pops up occasionally and across multiple characters. All right, let's uh, get ourselves some brain power going on. Hello. You know what? I, I do think we can just get this kill, right? That's the nice thing about Undying. I mean, this is a hero that is known for being a lane bully in normal Dota. And there's nothing that stops him from being a lane bully in here. It's just not exactly the same thing in terms of like what is a lane, but you're way too fast. I'm never catching up. But he is strong. We can just take a fight and be really effective with it. Oh, hello. Oh, you got that one. Oh, that's a lot of heroes. That's maybe not so good, is it? I am tanky. So killing me isn't the easiest thing in the world. Okay. Healing. That's a big radius. Why am I not getting strength? Oh, no. <laughs> Let's go. Feels like we're not actually healing from the decay. I wonder why. Why? All right. Decay is supposed to increase our strength when we cast it, right? Or am I misremembering something there? Has there been some sort of rework? Strength steal four. Huh. That's a little. A little weird. A little weird. But okay. Let's grab... Let's say this guy probably wins. I'm not sure. I think the, the Oracle has a better chance, but... This early on, it can be a bit hard to tell, right? I just know... Oh, it's... It's Daystalker. <laughs> Agility Nightstalker is Daystalker. <clears throat> Are we changed for the impath? No, we get an upgrade later on that makes it so it also steals intellect. It's just that the way it's normally supposed to work is that it, like, heals you, right? And I don't think it does that in here because we were clearly not getting healed. Okay, now we are an int hero. Big brain. Very good. I'm not sure we want to level that right away. Because we don't actually have... I guess it's probably fine, honestly. If we get some mana going. And we should get mana going soon. We should be building that up in a moment. Okay, here we go. This guy. Ooh, I would like to fight that. Now we got to figure out our next items. And I actually think uh, my beloved Octarine Core is really strong in this game. Or really strong on this hero. and this build. Because it does uh, have a lot of inbuilt mana region. And we want to be spamming Decay, right? I mean, Decay does a lot of damage here. So, do we level this up? I guess. I guess. There's an argument to be made to wait. To just not level that for now. Because right now it probably does less... Like, it benefits us less than it necessarily helps, maybe. It's hard to tell. Okay. Let's get more of this. Because our mana region isn't that high yet, right? And if we don't have any mana region, then maybe the zombies are more useful. But the thing is, I don't actually have this leveled up. So, because I haven't leveled it up, I don't know if this argument really applies. Okay. It's gonna be a tricky one. Alright, there's the tombstone. Yeah, we did. Damn it. Okay, tombstone does tiny bits of damage. Not enough. <laughs> Is this an int Medusa? No, it's an agility Medusa, I think. Huh. Nothing here. Nothing there. 
Yeah, Oracle is scary. I mean, I, I, I actually think that was winnable, possibly. But... Didn't work out that way. Hello. I am Warlock. And I enchant you to leave a like on the video. Thank you very much. Nice. Alright, with that we have the maxed out, uh, finished up Spirit Wrestle. Which deals 40 damage plus 2% of the enemy's maximum health. It's quite a lot, isn't it? 2%? Hmm. That's kind of why I wanted to give it a try. 2% is actually a very significant amount. And of course, it also acts as healing suppression. Which is always good to have. We will probably buy a Shiva's Guard on top of it. And by probably, I mean definitely. But there's nothing wrong with having multiple instances of healing suppression. Healing suppression is really something where... I'm not sure if that's good or not, but you really can't have too much of it. Level this up. Increase soul rip maximum targets. One per ma per our mana region. One per ten mana region. So I would add one additional target right now. It's just really not that much. And not really worth going for. So killing our tombstone here. And we got it. Nice. Very good. Yeah, this is actually making a huge difference. Absolutely. It's super nice. Although we need to be a little careful of the charges. They do not recover based on kills. Which means... Uh... Oh, hello. Which means we can't just throw them on heroes and hope that they reset through fighting. <clears throat> Okay. Oh. Hello. Oh, you already went for that item. That's kind of interesting. Healing. Tombstone. Okay. It's probably not enough. Yeah, our cooldowns are kind of long. It's definitely turning out to be a bit of an issue already. But that's why we gotta get Octarine Core, right? Hello there. Lots of strength builds. No, just two. Okay. I'm just constantly running into those two heroes, I guess. Hello. Oh no, the Fusal Blade. Ah, oh, fuck. And I got targeted down. <laughs> oh, we're having... We're having a bit of a rough time here. Uh, it's not necessarily that we're weak. It's just we're getting a bit unlucky. Running into heroes repeatedly like that definitely makes the early game a lot more difficult than it needs to be. And uh, we'll just kind of try our best to catch up again. Good news is we are fairly good at farming. Especially if we're willing to commit all of our abilities, which at this point we are. I want to avoid getting into a duel if I if I can. I'm not sure I can, I'm not sure I can, but I will try. Oh crap! There's nothing here. Night Stalker just took it. Yeah, I guess I guess we will have to take an early duel then. Ah, haha! -ha! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we found ourselves at Creep Camp. Like this, talent. I'm gonna say the Oracle again. Oh, actually, never mind. There is a spirit vessel on the Night Stalker. I'm a spirit vessel enjoyer now, so let's see. I guess I'll level this up now, just because I need to level it up eventually, anyways, right? And I need the points so I can go to the next tier. But there's a lot I can upgrade there. There's a lot that I, I really care about. Good kill. <clears throat> Oracle is scary. It's definitely a hero you need to be careful. Careful against. Because you just... 
it's hard to deal damage to him. That's really what it comes down to. It's just really hard to deal damage to Oracle. And then you also need to fight through the ultimate, right? And the ultimate is a nightmare. So. Oh. Mine? Can I have it? Mine? Not me? For me, right? It's for me. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> oh, you're back. Sure. I'm really good at holding a position, so. I'm fine taking you on right here. Got it. Hello, Dan. Nice. Well, now that turned out really well for us. This right here. Mana region. Flesh Golem increases mana region. Cooldown reduction. So we need all of these, right? But I actually think just this mana region right now seems to be the best. So now we had 50 mana region. And now the, the mana region stuff is actually pretty significant, right? This right here does 150 damage per second now. I mean, look at it. I, I, that does a lot of damage. That cuts through people. <clears throat> so, Nurse Shaker back there. Now, uh, unfortunately, I did just use Tombstone to demonstrate a point. So, we can't really fight. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Maybe not, maybe not the best use for it, but, uh, you know, it, it is how it is. Pick up a Helm of Anvil. We want to get that Jeeva's Guard next. It's a nice tool to stop people from running away. And it's just kind of good to have more healing reduction, right? Now, we could get, uh, we could get the Mana Radiance if we want to. But I'm not sure we need it. I feel like building more utility is probably going to be stronger, but we'll see. One of the big advantages of Mana Radiance is mostly just that it's a good farming tool, right? You can use it to clear out creeps really effectively. But we are already reasonably good at clearing out creeps. Now you might say, ah, Baboy, you know what's better than being reasonably good at clearing out creeps? It's being really good at clearing out creeps. And normally, in a normal game of Dota, I would agree with you. But this is World of Dota. And in World of Dota, there's actually kind of a cap to how good you can be at farming. Like, the game will just not let you be much faster than everybody else. Like, you can be faster than everybody else, but it won't let you be, like, super fast. It will just not allow for that. And that means there isn't really that much of a benefit for us if we go for even more farming, right? Like, sure, we would be quicker, but then we would gain less money from the creeps that we kill. So, would we really be quicker? I don't know. Hello there. Am I done with Civ? Oh, dude, I am playing way too much Civ. I I don't know if I'm gonna stream it again. Should I stream it again? Wow, that actually did so much damage. But, uh... I, am. Um, playing way too much Civ right now. <laughs> the K also steals in. That seems good. I think it might actually be a bit more fun now to stream it, because now I actually understand how the game works. We streamed it a bit on Saturday, and I, I had no idea how it worked, because I was just learning it. A good portion of it was just playing the tutorial. But I since then played another eight hours of the game. <laughs> Oops. It's Monday today. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and now I feel a lot more comfortable with it, and I feel like I kind of understand it. Although I don't understand, I don't understand how to win yet. That's the part. Like I understand all of the mechanics of it. Like, I'm at this really weird point in my uh, Civ journey, where I feel really comfortable with the like mechanics of it. I understand the mechanics of it. I understand how the game works. But I don't understand how I can leverage the mechanics to actually win. Basically, I'm good at buying items, but I'm not good at knowing which items to buy. And buying items in Civ is a little bit more complicated than it is in Dota. So, uh, but one thing I do know is that Norway attacked me earlier. 
And now I am currently on a journey to conquer all of Norway. Because fuck that guy. <laughs> what a wiener. <laughs> Just how dare you attack me. I'm, I'm gonna fucking kill your shit. Hello there. This guy does way too much damage. Wow, that is so much. Oh, that hurts so bad. God damn. <clears throat> nothing there, nothing there. Wrong way. I come from people would have said get good. I'm going to say that too because I haven't played Civ yet. But like, that's what I'm saying too. I'm saying I'm not good. That's something I, that's a little bit weird. Right? I'm like, oh, I'm not good at Civ. And you're like, bar me? Get good. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not, not really sure what to do with this information. <laughs> Working on it, okay? I'm, I'm getting there. I don't know. It's a hard game, okay? Give me a break. All right. Where's this Earthshaker man? Bottom right corner. Oh, Get your he's, dogs he's gonna here. try to run for me. Hey, three D oh, David Dino. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Good name. I like it. Okay. This is actually so sick, this bird vessel. This is such a good item. Like, that absolutely won me the team fight. Oh, not team fight. Sorry, the fight. Not a team fight. I guess it is kind of, technically. Oh, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna lean into it. That won me the team fight. <laughs> I mean, technically. We are our entire team. So I'm just gonna say we won that team fight. <clears throat> Good, she was guard now. Tombstone cannot be destroyed, and Tombstone gains two charges. I mean, that seems super good. I assume they stack. We deal 104 damage now. Oh! No, they do not stack. The fuck is the point then? I guess I can't have it permanently active and I can recast it once. Oh, that's a really disappointing. Well, I guess the big one is mostly that it cannot be destroyed, right? I I, I imagine it's still alright, to be honest. I don't want to be too harsh there. I, I was just excited to have two tombstones active, you know? But okay, guess it doesn't work that way. Grab you. Oh, I already want to fight you. Can I pick this up? No. Wait, what? Okay, so we're gonna need something to deal with that. <laughs> this is not working. <laughs> Just pick up an E-Blade, it's also some nice mana region. Yeah, I just got kind of permastunned. I just got permastunned. Nothing over there. Little creep here. I guess the nice thing too is I can use it a bit to farm. Does a hundred damage every half second now. Two hundred damage per second. I mean that's okay. It's not crazy good. But I guess it's okay. I feel like I need HP. That's actually I feel a pretty big deal.
All right, I'm trying to transform. What happened to you? Got him. Good. Then more of this. So during our transformation, we have 400 damage per second. That's that's really good. I mean, that's really nice. There's actually a huge difference there, right? So that's nice. It does feel like we can actually do some damage. So we need some more ins. We also just need mana. But we have upgrades for that. I don't really think we want to itemize for any more int and mana. Like, not specifically, right? I don't want to buy items specifically for int and mana. Because we still have a lot of our talent tree left to supply that. And instead, I really need to itemize for survivability. I, I gotta get something that keeps me alive here. That's the main issue at the moment. How do I survive? Alright, E-Blade is good though. I just need HP, right? Like, that's a good starting point. How do we get life? Is Bloodstone, does Bloodstone work with Tombstone? No, right? Hmm. I guess I need to test it. The question is, does Tombstone deal damage? Or do I deal damage around Tombstone? If Tombstone deals damage, then Bloodstone will not work. It will not do anything. But if I deal damage around Tombstone, then it does work. And then it would be really good, I feel. Oh, hello. It's not enough. Damn. Couldn't get everything out in time. Eh, alright, we'll go for this one then. Ho ho ho! Nice. Against the Medusa, it can be hard to tell how much damage you're actually doing, but we got her. Alright, more int. And just spell I steal any talent tree? Yeah, but it's much easier to just spend 700 gold. I don't want to invest a talent point into something that I don't know if it actually will work. Because talent, pro talent points are non-refundable. Spending 700 gold, that is, however, refundable-ish. At least we came back half of it. Alright, here we go. Buy this. Slap this in there. Yeah. Seems to work. Alright, then we're getting Bloodstone. Wait, does this also spell life steal? Nah, Bloodstone is still fine. More spell life steal is not bad here. Not at all. Oh. Okay. Do I care about any of this? Not really. It's all kind of mid. Medusa versus Abaddon. Unfortunately, I think the Abaddon build is really bad. <laughs> so, but I guess Abaddon could just kite her. There's a possibility that Abaddon just spends the entire fight running away. And he has more HP. Ooh. That one hit actually might make a difference. How do you not make it all the way across yet? Do you not have enough movement speed? Ooh, no. Wesley. Okay. Wesley trying to not be a wiener. Gonna regret it. There you go. Because Abaddon is pretty much uncatchable here. Because he can just like run across this and then it clips him to the bottom. But again, he doesn't have to do it. See, like that. So it's, it's just basically impossible to actually catch up to him. So if Abaddon has more HP than you, he can just run away the entire fight. But he's messed up. He took damage. So at this point, he doesn't have a higher percentage. Was Abaddon intended to win these fights? Just by running, I think. It's just being a wiener. I don't see how else you could win it. Is Spell Life Steal even good? I mean, again, we've only made a minor commitment into it so far. We could still back out of it. 
What's left? Bounty Hunter, Oracle. Against Oracle, we don't want Heaven's Halberd. Against the other two, we do need it. Oh, man. That's a tricky one as well. Heaven's Halberd. How do we fit Heaven's Halberd? Gonna go ahead and deal some damage here. It's unlikely to be a fight right away. Oh, hello. Ooh, I don't know if you want to just like be here. Damn, still got it. <laughs> Should have used it on. Well, it doesn't really make a difference. Whether or not I use it on her or on myself. Alright, Decay steals Int. So our last points go into this, into mana. Tricky one. What do we want? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. More mana. Auto spell damage could also be good. I don't know. We'll see how many points we get. We scale with mana though. So I kind of want to get more mana. I think I was just getting hex. It just scales with everything we do. And it's kind of a heaven's halberd. Right? Like, it's not entirely Heaven's Albert, but it's, it's close enough. <laughs> it is Heaven's Halberd adjacent. And I think we, we appreciate some Heaven's Halberd adjacency right now. That seems fine at the current point. Okay, we silence, that's not so good. But we are dealing damage. And it should still be a kill. Alright, there's a hex. <sighs> more mana, more spell damage. Let's just get the mana for now. I really don't know, actually. I, I really don't know which one is more. Either one could be better, and I'm guessing mana is better, this right? Is but like, that's really it. Future self. Hey, Panancom, thanks for the 23 months. Good Easter egg. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I actually won that fight. Let's go. So, we definitely get yours. As our last item here. Replace boots with yours. Seems to be... Seems to be it, right? It's a lot of mana region as well. And it's just the best item for survivability. Yours is... Kind of the best... Closing out item, right? It's not necessarily super good... By itself. But if you have the money... And you've got... You know, everything else already figured out. Yours just acts as this perfect closing tool. Just concludes everything. Okay. 350 damage per second is actually kind of crazy. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Pick this up. Tombstone. Also some healing. More mana. More mana. I don't know if we can kill this, to be honest. 
Yeah, so the main worry at this point is just people doing too much damage while we're disabled. But I think if that's what happens, then that's just what happens. I don't really see what we can do about it, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. Get this. And with that, we have our yours. <clears throat> so I do want to get a hit in on people, right? I want to attack them once with the flesh golem. <laughs> okay. To apply the debuff. I guess I should just be attacking in general. Every once in a while, a single hit will actually go a pretty long way. Okay, Medusa versus Oracle. I have no idea. I'm going to say the Medusa because she's got a Diffusal Blade and Diffusal Blade is broken. But I can see this going both ways, honestly. Is this good for us? It's micromanagement. I mean, Magic Lamp is probably better, right? Okay. Go get him, Medusa. If Medusa wins, then we replace the Heaven's Hull. Uh, we replace the urn with the Heaven's Halberd, right? It's gotta be it. He's almost out of mana. He does have this. Satanic. Ooh, there's some mana recovered. That should do it. Alright, so we get rid of the urn now and we replace it with a Hammond's Halberd. Then we lose out on Spell Life Steal, but I think that's gotta just be it. Like, I, I'm not a huge fan of giving up on the Spell Life Steal, but I think this arm against these two remaining heroes is just so much better. Okay. It's gonna be tricky. Yeah, I'm the only caster left. <laughs> Depending on if you count the uh, bounty hunter, but I don't really think so. Look at this, though. That's actually crazy damage. That's so strong. Oh, hello. Alright, we got... Wow! Wow! Damn, I thought we were okay. That is so much damage. Bounty Hunter. Okay. Yeah, that really hurts. It's a, it's a universal Bounty Hunter. And this right here. Sure, we can toss supplies Ginada. Attacks with Ginada deal cleave damage. Some scary things in there. This is where our farming does actually struggle now, it seems. Like I said earlier, that having, you know, investing into a farming tool is not necessarily worth it. But right now, I do kind of wish I had something at least. I guess I can use Tombstone, right? But it always feels a little bit silly because now Tombstone is on cooldown and we, we kind of needed to not be on cooldown. <laughs> So we'll take down these guys. We have the mana maxed out now. So all of our like sources of damage are pretty much there. Got 117 
mana region right now. Oh man, that hurts. Okay. Wait, what am I taking damage from? It was the Soul Reaver. 32 damage per second killed me. That sucks. God, this bounty hunter is scary. Yeah, I don't know what to do about it. It's mostly just that he stuns a lot. Like, that's the biggest problem. I can kind of deal, I can kind of deal with the damage, but I keep getting interrupted whenever I try to do anything, and that's what really hurts. Alright, let's take him on. I think this is winnable. Yeah, good. Okay, uh, we could get spell damage or we could get spell lifesteal. I think spell damage gotta be better, right? Oh, hello. <laughs> nice try, buddy. <laughs> Can get armor? I am, I'm actually fine on armor, I feel. I think the, I think the dude is just scary as hell. But we will buy ourselves a Moonkaya for 16% extra spell damage. And that should work with this. Because if I can spell Lifesteal, I can spell a bit. At least in theory. And who knows, maybe, maybe we even get ourselves a better neutral item. The bigger problem will be if people just refuse to fight me. Right. Tombstone is really strong. Really, really strong. But it's Tombstone. They can just run away from it. And if they do that, we're a little bit screwed. Does I think you can get a Shadow Book? Shadow Book? Really? You think the Book of Shadows is better than a Magic Lamp? I actually feel like I would prefer my Magic Lamp over the Book of Shadows. I'm not entirely sure what the best item would be. Maybe we already have it. I think the magic lamp has been very useful. Oh, bag of gold. You can always see where the bounty hunter was. <laughs> Went over the place, apparently. So I'm going to have to beat the Medusa. That is doable. That's fine. I'm actually not worried about her, but I don't know how we beat the Bounty Hunter. Alright, let's get this. We won't be able to afford anything else. Get a bit of extra spell damage as well. Okay, let's do this. I mean, we have all of the disabled in the world. Fallen Sky is interesting. It's not it, right? I think Magic Lamp is better. Fusion Rune, Minotaur Horn, Woodland Striders. Probably not it. Yeah. I think, I, I just, I don't like any of these more than the Magic Lamp. I actually think the Magic Lamp is really good. Oh, I... Did I fuck up? I may have fucked up. Well, no, I didn't. I can just stand here, right? Like, I will heal. I will be fine. Because I win the long-term battle. <laughs> I don't know if this will work. No, it didn't. Ooh, maybe we're not fine. Ah! Okay. Well, 
We tried. To be honest, I think she has a better shot at it. That yours was a misplay, was it? I don't think that yours was really that bad. I think... No, why are you guys talking about the yours? The yours was fine. I, I think you guys are completely wrong about the yours. The yours was fine. I, I didn't know if I could go across or not, but... That didn't matter in that moment. I don't have any other choice. I mean, what difference does it make if I'm going across or if I'm just yulesing in place? The problem wasn't the yules. The problem was that I accidentally cast my second tombstone. That was the fuck up. I'm not saying that I didn't fuck up. I fucked up. I used my tombstone way too aggressively. I, I used my second charge and I didn't have it ready. <laughs> like, like, that was the problem. It wasn't the yules. The yules was fine. Like, that wasn't an issue. What is even going on? I mean, I like this. This, I think, is always very cool. The more confused I am, uh, the more... The more it's a proper world of Dota. <laughs> but no, the problem was that I didn't have a second tombstone ready. I, 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 If I had my second tombstone ready, I could have just, like, set up camp near it and just waited. And I would have won that fight. But my tombstone ran out and then she could come in and fight me. And that was the problem. But I didn't see that line. Like, the issue there is that I didn't know I could really, like, approach the fight that way. And that's, you know, how you get better at the game. Is What I could have done is I could have used the tombstone as this kind of, like, defensive zone where I just hang out. And because it has a really big radius, I actually can just wait there. I, I don't need to engage in the fight with her at all. But that's a line that you actually need to see, right? And I didn't. I didn't know that's how I could go about it. Damn, the bounty hunter build is so crazy. I honestly don't know what's going on with it at all. <laughs> no idea what's happening there, but sick. All right. I still liked our build. I think it was really interesting, but um, nah, it's a shame that we screwed up at the end there. Well then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. We'll definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.